Hey guys, how you doing? Back with another video. Today, what we're gonna do is we're gonna show you the easiest possible way to fix the sticky buttons on your car. This is my 2011 Jaguar XJ. Uh, this will work on pretty much any car. Now this is the safest and easiest way you can do this. And I found this out on YouTube through someone named um, Dallas Davenport. So I'm gonna give her video credit. I'm actually gonna link it in this video. And what she did, she said that she's a Jaguar XJ just like mine, she's a newer one, and she had a sticky interface up there. And she said the best way to do this is to use a specific type of wipe. Now I'm gonna show you guys this wipe in a second. What I wanna show you right now, if you can see, you can see these massively sticky buttons here. They are probably the stickiest buttons in my car. It, it's horrible, horrible, horrible. Every one of these buttons are sticky. Now, I tried it out before I even made this video to confirm it worked. And I'm not sure if you can see here, but this button right here, I used the wipe on it, and it is not sticky anymore at all. It is. It looks brand new, and after wiping it, there is no, there's no, um, you know, eroding of the button. There's no eroding of the, uh, you know, the, the colors on here or the, um, the symbol on here. Nothing like that. It just pretty much has wiped off the entire gooiness. So you can see here, these buttons are still sticky, massively sticky, as you can see right there. So the trick to do this is to use Neutrogena makeup removal wipes. Now, I'm not sure if this will work on any other makeup removal wipe, but this one specifically, uh, she used this one, and um, this is what I bought from Walgreens. It was about seven or eight bucks, and it is a heck of a lot cheaper than buying new buttons. In her video, um, Jaguar actually quoted her $5,000 to change all the buttons in her car. So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna show you exactly how easy this is and the proof that it works. So I'm gonna try to get it on video here. Try to look at this button right here. What we're gonna do is we're gonna wipe it off. So go over it with a good amount of the uh, wipe and start going in one direction or back and forth. Um, be vigorous, but also be gentle. You can see here the the goo that came off the button. You can see what it's doing and exactly what it just did. Let's see if you can see that. This button is actually no longer sticky at all whatsoever compared to the other buttons. You can kind of see a night and day difference between the top two buttons and the bottom two buttons. It's actually an incredible way of doing it. Tavares showed a way of doing it on his car, but the way he used, what he used was pretty vigorous and he actually wiped some of the buttons writing off on his Mercedes. This, I actually did this pretty, pretty hard and nothing came off, nothing at all. My friend tried this on his Mercedes after I showed him the video and same thing, his buttons are brand new now. Not one ounce of stickiness. All right, let's go to the next one. Wiping it off. Although it doesn't mess up any of the buttons, still use care. I'm not sure how your vehicle is gonna react to this, but mine, it worked perfect. Came in and, and cut out my video. But after the call, what I did was I did the remaining buttons and then I wiped it off and I tested it with my finger that I didn't use to test the stickiness. And there is absolutely no more adhesive on these buttons, none. It, they are a pleasure to touch. No more of the horridness like these buttons. You can just tell. You can even see my fingerprint on that. That's how, fuck, that's how bad these buttons were. And you can see, it's like a focus, the reflection. You can't see anything on these buttons anymore. Anything. Wow. This is the best method to do this, guys. I haven't seen a better method, and this literally took me probably a few minutes to do. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the bottom one here, 
I'm gonna show you guys when I'm done, and then I'm gonna go and I'm gonna do the stickiest button in this vehicle in the front, which is on the steering wheel. All right, I'll be right back. Hand side of these uh, switches, and I just wanted to show you guys how much of a difference this really made. You can't even tell that there are three indicators here on the left and two indicators down here on this switch uh, when you're looking at the right one. <laughs> I never even knew about those indicators on the side or the ones over here. It really is a night and day difference and no, nothing. No stickiness whatsoever at all. Incredible. Wow, look at this panel guys. It looks completely different from when I first showed it to you in the beginning of this video. Completely different. You can actually make out all the buttons down there. Wow. Off to the front. All right, on to the worst button in this car. The cancel cruise control button on the steering wheel. As you can see, it's just massively sticky, massive. It's actually even stickier than, it, than the back buttons on this vehicle. You can see all that that we're gonna take off right now. Surprisingly, that's actually the only button that's sticky on my steering wheel. All these are good. This is good. This is good. These are good. Cancel button, the um, hidden steering wheel button. It may look sticky, but it's actually not that sticky. I think I'm gonna leave that one. And on my center console, everything else is all right. The only thing that's really sticky is somehow, for some reason, up here. Um, on the video that I found this out from, her, these two th sides on her navigation were sticky and that's where she cleaned the two. Mine, for some reason, it's up here. Maybe the newer models, they use this um, material on the sides, but not on mine. Um, actually, the trunk button is kind of sticky. I think I'm gonna do that too. And the rear fog lamps are sticky as well. On the back, I did do uh, two switches that were sticky. Uh, it worked perfectly fine. These front ones aren't sticky, and neither is this, nor these side ones. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the cancel button, and the trunk and rear fog lamp. We'll be back. I'm gonna need to actually need a brand new towel for this one. Results are amazing, amazing. This button, that was the worst button in the car, and the worst button I have ever felt in any car that I've ever been into, is completely residue free. Remember how it looked before. Now, it's all smooth, smooth. No residue or nothing. It did take a little bit longer than the other buttons, which was to be expected, but, you, and it was kind of hard to get into the cracks and crevices over there, but it is very pleasant to touch now. It's actually the same feeling as these other buttons in my car now too. Now these two buttons, same thing. They are smooth to the touch. These weren't that sticky before, but still, they are completely smooth. There's a little corner I gotta get, but these ones took a lot of um, extra elbow grease. I'm not sure why, but it worked on every button in this car, every single button, and it worked amazingly, amazing. There is no longer any residue, or and there's actually no more sticky buttons in this entire vehicle now. Wow. So again, guys, Neutrogena makeup removal wipes. Um, they sell us at Walgreens. I got it for like eight bucks. You can try other wipes and other brand wipes, but it's, you know, I suggest you get this one because this worked and I'm pretty sure it'll work on your car too. No need, no need to take the risk. Again, thank you to Dallas Davenport for making this video. I will link it in the description for credit. And guys, if you like this video, please uh, subscribe. We are still doing our 1,000 subscriber giveaway, which we are only about 160 subscribers away at this point. And uh, after that, we're really gonna ramp up the videos. So uh, stay tuned and like and comment. Have a good one.